hi guys welcome to my channel lila web dev in this video we will learn about the testing right how to write the test cases in the angular 19 so let's try to uh, understand about this one so in this series so we have completed our angular server side rendering now we have entered into our angular 19 testing already we have a complete set of course in uh, about the angular testing in our uh, now channel so if you want to know more about the testing means in detail means you can visit the channel so here i will be explaining you the features and all those things new features that has been added in the angular 19 just i will like i will go through it over you only so fine so unit testing services is a critical aspect of ensuring that business logic encapsulated within them works as expected so whatever the logic whatever the things you are writing the unit test cases will ensure that it is working as expected so now I will be explaining you how to write the uh, unit test cases in the Angular. So first we will try to check it with the services. So now I will have a service that is nothing but a value service. So it pro it has a three methods like get value, get observable value and also a get promise value. So these three methods you will be having and these methods represent common scenarios you will encounter when writing the services synchronous data retrieval observable based data streams and also promised based asynchronous operation so now let's try to see how we can write it without using the angular testing utilities so here i will be trying to use without relying on the angular testing utilities how we can test a service i will try to use it so for this one what i will try to do it is i will create a service value services here so i am creating this service value service so when you are trying to create ng generate service where services slash value then it will create a service along with the spec file also it will create so all the service all the testing scenarios and all the things you need to write it in a spec.ts file and the logic and all the things you will be writing in the value.service.ts file the test cases and all the things you will be writing in the spec.ts file so now in the value.service.ts file so as i already told you that we will be having three methods that is nothing but get value so which will return only the value and here you will be having another one is get observable value so which returns the observable and you will be having another one that is nothing but get promise value so which returns the promise so these are the three methods which you will be having so most of the times you will be encountering this type of return values only so here the get value means so here i will be returning the return real value so whatever the thing so you are returning the value now I want return the observable value. So here oh, what I can return. So here return means return off. So off will return the value. So here I will be returning the observable value. So this one is also returning. And now here you will be returning a promise. So here for returning the promise what you will try to do. So here um, return promise dot resolve of promise value that's it so these are the these are, these are the three methods which you will be having now here so here we are using the injectable decorator marks this as a service available for dependency injection and we are having get value which is simply synchronous function get observable value returns an observable using rxjs of operator and we are having an get promise value returns a promise resolved within a value that's it so now we need to write the uh, spec file so that is the test case a test file will use the jasmine to test the methods in value service so let's open this values that service dot spec dot file so here i will write first i will write the code then afterwards you will be able to understand so service value service you are able to see and here instead of using the utilities and all those things so here i will use service is equal to new value service okay so i am creating an object for this one so now here so here first one is I will be uh, get value so this is the this is the method I am trying to check should return real value should return so this is the first case so here what I will try to do expect service dot get value so this method should return or otherwise should to be of real value that's it so we are checking that whatever the return value that it is having it should be real value so now we are having an another test case that is nothing but it has get observable value should return value from observable and this one what you can try to do 
so here you will do service dot get observable value dot subscribe so you will do the oh sorry dot subscribe so, now what is happening here oh sorry okay and i can remove this one yeah dot subscribe dot subscribe of value you will get the value and in this one i will do expect sorry expect of value dot to be be observable value so this this should return the observable value right so now here so after completion of this one we need to use the done oh sorry and here we need to have a done function why because this, this is all uh, what we, what i want to tell you is uh, asynchronous right so we need to use the done function that's it so now another one which you will be having is the promise thing so it hash get promise value so this is the method which we will be writing and should return value from promise and this one how you will write so this one also has a done function so i have explained you about this done function in our uh, testing uh, series so if you want you can learn about that one so service dot get promise value dot then so when this one is resolved so you will get the value here <clears throat> and here you can write expect the value dot to be of promise value that's it now here also you need to mention it as in done that's it so this is how you are writing so i will try to explain you the step by step breakdown of this test first one is a synchronous method test so here you are using get value should return real value so it directly calls the get value and uses jasmine's expect method or function to assert the return value and the next one is the observable based thing and it subscribes to the observable returned by the get observable value and uses the done callback to signal test completion once the value is emitted and here also it calls the get promise value and and changes to the then handler uses the done callback to signal the test completion after the promise result so for running this test one so how we can run this test case so here you can go and here you can run npm test so when you run this one so here jasmine will execute each test in each test in the spec file and this result should indicate success for all the three tests so let's try to see it. so here you will be able to see the all the three tests has been passed so it is still checking yeah here you will be able to see value service all the three tests has been passed so the, uh, that's it since angular 19 uses the standalone components no module configuration is required to test this service so benefits of testing without angular testing utilities first one is the lightweight so one is the lightweight which are without using the test bed and all those things no overhead of dependency injection configuration isolated focuses on testing the service logic independently of the angular framework and testing services in isolation is straightforward and fast use jasmine's done callback for for asynchronous tasks observables and promises you can write angular test without relying on ang the angular testing module or the utilities so that's it guys about this basic testing service uh, uh, testing of the services in angular 19 hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you